The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. You know, we have Tom on t from Tampa on the phone. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's bright and early now, huh? Hey, thanks. Good. Hi, Tom. How are you guys doing? Nico? Doing great. Good. Hey, um, your newsletter is outstanding, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it is outstanding. And so is the Rhyme of Edge. I love that stuff. I'd never be without it. I mean, I've been on it now three, four months, man. I mean, it's just I can't get over how good I feel. Rhyme of Edge is, uh, you know, people are raving about it. People who are trying it, they know because you can feel it. We would not be without it. Call now. Toll free at one 877 927-6648 internationally at 727-445-1044 now your hosts nico dehan and paige clark good morning and welcome to living a primal lifestyle i'm paige clark and this is where we explore a return to our natural wild world to uh, recover our natural health and to regain our rights and our freedoms, I'm Nico DeHaan. And it's a beautiful 82 degrees in downtown Clearwater, Florida, and we hope it's a beautiful day where you are, too. That's for sure. And if you have any questions or comments on the show, you can reach me at Nico at TFNN.com. And Paige at TFNN.com. And we're taking your questions today. Nico. At 877-927-6648. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about this article that you were sharing. And I think today we might want to talk a little bit of, about how we can protect our, our brain function. We, we both seem to find a lot of articles this week. This one says, uh, study suggests new ways to protect against uh, neurodegeneration. Uh, I found this on uh, the uh, Suspicious Observer. They were talking about it a week ago Saturday as I was mm -hmm. uh, traveling. I was listening to their little fly-on-the-wall show, and they were bringing this up. And it was an interesting article for a couple of reasons. First of all, of course, the research is there that uh, in the brain, uh, the proteins get kind of gummy. Mm, and, sounds like something we've been teaching about. Yeah, and it was interesting because in the article itself, it doesn't really me me mention sugar. But if you, and I think the reason for this is because the article itself is talking about coming out with a new drug to prevent this. So I was thinking, okay, let me dig a little bit deeper. And one of the things that uh, uh, Ben Davidson and the crew were talking about was that sugar was the culprit on here because they. Because they dug deeper like we did, but nowhere in the article does it really mention it. What it does do is many uh, neurodegenerative disorders are caused by accumulation of proteins in the brain. These conditions, and they're called uh, protein pathias, uh, occur when proteins misfold, causing them to quickly get sticky and clump, uh, clump up in the brain uh, in a form often referred to as plaques or tangles. That is exactly pretty much the description glycation. of glycation or yeah. advanced glycation end products or ages is the acronym used yeah. for so really what this is is solidifying the same information we've been sharing that alzheimer's and other neurodegenerative diseases could very easily be referred to as diabetes type 3 exactly or insulin resistance in the yeah. brain the the cells are resistant and the sugars and the high sugar level and the proteins in our body are creating these blockages to help. Yeah, and we can see in our society uh, through the last hundred years or so that uh, the brain diseases are up front. Uh, maybe it's not the level of cancer, but I think they're all related to that. And as we get older, we have the all these uh, things like Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, uh, Huntington's disease, uh, Lou Gehrig's disease, all these brain, degenerative brain conditions. And this is another instance of having to dig deeper to find the truth because if you're just looking at the article itself which I'm gonna put in one of my newsletters I think the next one it really talks about proteins and then you're thinking okay now we have to really we have to find something special to do it and well we have to find a certain protein or we we can't eat as much protein and mm -hmm. you and I always talk we think protein should be 20 or 25 percent of our calorie right. intake uh, and fat uh, about twice that and then the rest is for the carbs but the sugar remember that uh, we're talking about glucose which uh, sugar turns into but also we're talking about all the grain products and all these things are always going to be uh, what causes it it's the sugars and it's when I read, and when I read this what I believe Nico mm -hmm. is that it's not 
only the sugars, it's the fact that we, our bodies are not equipped to deal with the sugar. Yeah. And, yeah. That, and, and as I've been saying, and Dr. Pompa has taught me, we can't be well unless we heal the cell. Yeah. And the cell membrane is how the sugar gets in and out of the cell, right. how we get the bad stuff out and the good stuff in. And that's effectively what diabetes type 2 and diabetes type 3 right. is. And here's this uh, a quote from this article. And, it just smells like a rat to me. Mm -hmm. A study led by biomedical researchers at Indiana University have found evidence that an enzyme known as NMNAT2 may help protect against the debilitating effects of certain degenerative brain diseases, including Alzheimer's. This is the way you open up an article when you're creating a case for yes. the miracle drug. Yep. Folks, what this could say is a study led by medical researchers shows that if you didn't eat so much sugar and you maintained your cell membrane integrity, you could avoid al Alzheimer's and brain diseases. Yeah, and really what they're saying in you're this... setting a stage the, for and, selling. Yeah, and they're really talking about the, the drug uh, that's going to be coming out to take care of this. So this means really what they're saying folks is don't change your lifestyle eat the crap that you've been eating you'll be all right because we have another drug here for you there's a just like there's an app for that there's a drug for that <laughs> that's right so <laughs> uh you know it's really important that uh, you get off of these packaged foods which are really laced with two things the sugar maybe the sugar substitutes probably worse and then of course the carbohydrates that are highly highly processed all three things will start doing this to your brain and have the same effect yeah. and no matter how good the protein is when the sugar is added to the protein this is when you have the glycation which I really call wrinkling in from the inside that is exactly what it is and I think the acronym ages advanced glycation end products yeah. is really uh, apropos it actually states the fact that glycation and the inability to handle sugars and process them resulting in this folding creates mm -hmm. the wrinkles creates the wrinkles and rust inside as well yeah. so I think that's a great thing and I like saying along these lines you know let's talk can, can I jump over are we still covering do, is there some other things no that's to pretty much that? it on that it's just that uh, you know they really go in depth on that and there's a link to the article which I will provide in my next yeah month's I think people too. enjoy seeing that yeah. and, and seeing what's going on but you know there's a lot of other substances that can really help us with our memory and I wanted to open up it was funny we must have been on the same page no pun intended but <laughs> I saw this article about the herbal oil rosemary and its benefits and uses I just want to give a quick update because did you know that uh, smelling rosemary essentially oil can increase memory and performance up to 75 percent so having a little rosemary while you're sitting there trading or mm -hmm. or uh, reading or whatever or These trying to have perform a, have a big impact I know uh, my wife uh, lights the incense about 15 minutes before we go into the bedroom to retire and just entering that room it just changes your attitude just by the smell Mm -hmm. Of course, I use lavender, too, and uh, using things like rosemary and using these in special parts of the day to treat yourself to the aroma. Uh, and aroma is kind of like, I look at it, kind of like nutrition. It is. And well, because, it is. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is nutrition, and it's entering the body the easiest way, which is through inhaling. Our olfaction really works on the limbic part of the brain, which affects our memory of things. Yeah. And not just our memory, but emotional memory yeah, you know, and, and, and lifetime memory yeah and that's so true because I, I remember if I all of a sudden get an old memory mm -hmm. a lot of times I have the same smell the mm -hmm. smell is kind of triggers it so maybe you're walking by something and you smell something familiar and that triggers a me memory and I remember that uh, memories do trigger uh, or smells do trigger memories kind mm -hmm. of interesting thing. yeah just the thought of like being younger and in the spring in Florida because yeah. I moved here in the spring. Oh, okay. And guess what always blooms wonderfully? The orange blossoms. Oh, yeah. So That's come sure. spring, come those 1975 songs. Get a little, <laughs> cool. get a little melancholy thinking yeah. about the past. Just stick around, folks. We've got another segment coming up. The number here is 877-927-6648. Please take time to look at our Primal Edge daily supplement and take a look at our newsletter. New one coming out next Tuesday, uh, along with our new exercise coming up, too. So stick around. We'll be right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. 
That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Nico and Paige take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Nico and Page here on Living a Primal Lifestyle. And part of Living a Primal Lifestyle is uh, what we call Tiger Brew Coffee or Bulletproof Coffee. And uh, some news coming out that very hot drinks may cause cancer, but the World Health Association uh, says that coffee does not. Well, coffee is getting more and more of indication every day as mm -hmm. we're finding out healthier ways to enjoy this beverage that's been drank for a long time. Yeah, and uh, we often say that uh, probably if you're uh, the average American, you're getting most of your antioxidants from the coffee itself even even if you're not drinking organic that's that's sort of a sad fact but I guess it's reassuring at the same time yeah and that basically is because so many people are not eating enough vegetables and foods that are eating the right foods right yeah that's for sure so this article says co coffee was classified as a possible cause of cancer in 1991 but the International Agency for Research on Cancer ARC which is part of the health uh, uh, World Health uh, Organization has now reconsidered the evidence and carried out a detailed review of the many studies published on the subject and found that coffee drinkers have no reason to worry. Well, that's very good, <clears throat> very good. You know, they also studied the, the South American drink, Herba Mate, mm -hmm. and that drink has also, it's drank at a very high temperature. They drink it through usually like a metal straw because it's so 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 very hot and they found that the mate was not a cause of cancer either mm -hmm. so it's causing them to think that perhaps it's the temperature that's causing this increased risk of esophageal cancer and that could very well be maybe we're not designed to take temperatures that high into our internal tissues well one of the things i noticed that uh being from holland and we are big of eating soups and drinking coffee and also drinking teas but we do like them hot mm -hmm. uh, uh, one of the things I noticed when I was younger that everybody would be cooling down their coffee or their tea and where I'd be drinking it or when the soup is hot and it's right in front of me, I'm eating it right away. I'm very used to the hot, hotter temperatures apparently. I noticed when my wife and I have the same thing she's waiting for it to cool down and I've got, I'm done when she starts. Mm. So uh, that's, that's kind of an interesting thing. I've always been able to drink very hot beverages and how hot, I don't know. 
that uh, they, they mentioned centigrade here. Of course, we're on uh, Fahrenheit, but they six, anything more than 65 degrees, which is about 150 degrees Fahrenheit. I wish I knew how to do that math. <laughs> Yeah, it's a complicated math. I, I knew it because it's written down here, <laughs> so to say. But uh, I know 100 is 212, and I know 0 is 32. So, yeah. you know, but you go from there. But there is an easy equation. But th this is kind of interesting. I'm not really sold in uh, how hot, uh, you know, 150 degrees. I think 150 degrees is probably about maybe the limit. But uh, I think 120, most people will consume beverages at because it's a, just a little bit cooler and easier to take more, perhaps. Yeah, it says here, studies in animal have shown that very hot water can promote the growth of tumors. It appears that there is thermal injury from exposure to hot liquids that is capable of leading to cancer of the esophagus. And again, is it the, t is it the damage or what happens when the body goes to repair it and maybe uh, bacteria and stuff get well, into the lining? Because I, we I think also what you have to consider is that the What's the state of the body in when you're consuming this beverage? If you're doing the average uh, sad diet, the standard American diet, with fast food intermingled, now your cells are not so healthy. So now when they have to respond to extra heat, perhaps they're not able to. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm looking at that a little bit more, and I'm thinking that more along the lines than just because it's hot water, it's not going to hurt you, or a hot beverage itself. Okay. Could be the beverage, too, if you're drinking hot Pepsi. And so, just for more reassurance, the scientists found an inverse relationship between drinking coffee and certain types of cancer. The risk of developing liver cancer dropped by 15% for each cup of coffee drank. Mm -hmm. While in breast cancer and endometrial or womb cancer, studies suggest there were few, fewer incidences among people who drank coffee than those did not. And I think, you know, we've got some good points there that, that drinking coffee, but again, I want to caution people if you drink coffee all day and you don't rehydrate, you know, you've got to balance that coffee intake by the water oh, because sure. it we're does cause more we're of dehydration. We're not talking about the coffee drinkers that are drinking eight or ten cups. Going through that, Starbucks uh, three times a day. Right. I think a coffee drinker uh, in me is two cups a day. Mm -hmm. I have a double espresso in the morning, a double espresso at night. I uh, have my fat in there with it. In the afternoon, I'll add a little bit of honey. That's my drink, and it works quite well for me. It keeps me not hungry. It keeps me energetic. Uh, it seems to make it flow. Another thing is, too, and uh, our, I should mention that our producer is mentioning the same for microwave foods. Well, microwave foods and microwave coffee, completely different because of the microwaves do destroy all the enzymes, all the living things. There's We're, no place for yeah. a microwave, yeah. Al. And <laughs> a microwave, the best thing you can do for a micro, with a microwave is to sterilize your sponges and just store them in there and yeah. pop it on every once in a while to kill the germs on your sponges. But you know, since we are looking for uh, maybe some antioxidant power uh, out of our coffee, we certainly don't want to use a microwave. No, because then you're destroying the very nutrients you're trying to get out of the coffee. And uh, I have that vision of that little girl, 10 years old, uh, in her uh, science class bringing to school her uh, plants and the ones with the just plain tap water even with the fluoride and were growing fine but the one uh, was the cup of water that she was every day zapping those flowers are died that's exactly right those plants. and it's very interesting a group of friends and I were together a couple weekends ago part of the healthy fit club we were mm -hmm. doing some testing and one of the uh, Robbie Bessner brought a Geiger counter Oh. and went around uh, Dr. Bryan's house and was measuring the EMFs from different electronics. Really, believe it or not, there wasn't a lot coming mm -hmm. out, even from the refrigerator, which we see. But on the Geiger counter, it was amazing. The microwave oven, even when it wasn't even turned on, was spiked it. Yeah. But when you turned it on, <clears throat> I mean, you had to move like seven, eight feet yeah. away from it. And yeah. I see people, when they created those microwaves above the oven, above the stove top, mm -hmm. People will cook things in the microwave and stand right in front of that stovetop and right, those brain waves. Is right there. Oh, crazy. The same thing with cell phones. You know, there's mm -hmm. enough of studies saying that uh, if you're using a, a thing and it's stuck to your ear all the time, you're going to get those microwaves. Right. And, uh, I Use think, a speakerphone whenever you can there. Yeah, uh, I think it's something to be concerned about. I think it's something that you need to pay attention to and you need to really not use the microwave and try to keep away from, you know, the real... Uh, 
the real uh, bad vibes that you get from these electronics. And there's all kinds of things that you can put in the house, uh, like the Himalayan sea, the sea salt lamps and things right. like that. They that create help. negative ions. Yeah, and, and so that, that really does help it. So coffee drinkers rejoice. Uh, mm -hmm. There is no evidence whatsoever uh, linking coffee to bladder cancer uh, or any other type of cancer itself. So uh, I encourage you, if you're going to use coffee, get it organic. Mm -hmm. If you can get at the local, even better. There's a lot of uh, really good companies. We have uh, Buddy Brew here in the Bay Area that uh, makes their coffee, mm -hmm. gets their beans, uh, and produces it here. So, uh, you know, that's a good thing to do, too. Uh, there's a lot of good companies around that uh, are on that free market uh, thing, the... Uh, uh, embargo free coffee. I, I forget what exactly. Yeah, what it's sustainable. Called. That's it's sustainable. That's, that's raised. That's raised. Yeah. You know, it, with with um, harvesters that are treated fairly and yeah. that kind of thing. That's important. And remember, it's not necessarily the food, but what we do to the food. And coffee is a heavily sprayed crop. Some you know hundreds of uh, chemicals are sprayed on commercial coffee, and. Um, Getting an organic coffee yeah. will help save you from that exposure to those toxic chemicals yeah. as well. So we're uh, through with this segment. Uh, please pick up our Primal Edge. Uh, we have a new newsletter coming out next week on Tuesday, along with a new exercise that you can do. And uh, Paige and I will be back shortly. Our number here is 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. heard Nico DeHaan as co-host of Living a Primal Lifestyle, which airs every Friday at noon Eastern time on TFNN, and would like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Page to open. And welcome 
Welcome back to Living a Primal Lifestyle. I'm Paige Clark, and I'm with Nico DeHaan. Yeah. Hey, Nico, you know, uh, after years of committees and debates and panels and et cetera and consensus building, it turns out the FDA has finalized the new nutrition label guidelines, and they have up to two years to implement these changes. And we're, we're kind of skeptical, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you uh, first of all, we say, hey, avoid this. Don't eat foods that have labels on them. That solves the problem. But I think in the case that you do, you need to know how to read them. And so we want to kind of go through these changes so you can be up to speed on what's coming. Yeah, hey. and the first thing on the list is that uh, they're going to uh, have added sugars. Carbohydrates will now contain a subsection for added sugars, which includes all sugars that do not normally or naturally occur in the food. And that's a great move yes. because, you know, it's a little misleading. A blueberry contains glucose and fructose, yes, but it also contains anthocyanins, fiber, micronutrients, pigments that are very healthy for us. Yeah, and uh, if you're uh, juicing and things like that and you're taking it from the bottle, then most of the time those juices will have added sugar and now you'll be able to read that that's in there. Right, and it is an added product to right. it. Very good. And revised serving sizes is number two. Serving sizes will reflect what people typically consume in a sitting. Maybe we won't have those serving sizes that are super sizes. Yeah, you know, one of the interesting things, if you have some old china around, you can see that the normal little cups that they had in the old days was a serving size, and now we have the larger cups. Same with plates, a smaller, uh, a dessert plate is almost the dinner plate of 100 years ago. You know, I, I use my grandmother's china, oh, yeah. and all the pieces are exactly as you state. Yeah. They're slightly smaller than what you see yeah. today, and I enjoy it because I feel like if you set a smaller plate, you keep your portion more in line. Yeah. And that's what I think we do too much is we just kind of maybe eat just too much. Yeah, of the, of the, of the, of the, the evidence is there for sure. And it, it, it not only happens with our food, it also happens with our clothes in uh Europe, there's standard sizes that stay standard. In <laughs> Europe, our uh, standards of size are determined by each an individual uh, manufacturer. Oh, yes, and the manufacturers, like for women's <coughs> clothing, uh, many twos are quite large, but mm. women love being able to say they're in a size two. <laughs> hey, num number three, added micronutrients. The foods vitamin D and potassium content are required to be displayed. Well, that's great, folks. And, you know, again, we have to question those of us that are in natural health, wonder what the quality of the added nutrients are that they're adding. We know that the best place that we get our vitamin D is some 15 to 40 minutes of well-placed sun three to four times a week will really help you go there. But yeah. we'll, we'll be then, looking forward to seeing these added nutrients. Yeah, and of course, they have now removed micronutrients, too. So there's a lot of foods through the process of their sterilization program, perhaps, mm. or that they need to uh, uh, put something else in it to bind the food together so it doesn't just you know clump or it clumps up instead of uh, whatever uh, and also they use it to enhance the flavors uh, we know that uh, we have talked uh, in the past weeks about how our uh, nutrition is tied to our smell and our taste yes. and it's driven by that and of course we now have all these fake flavors which we can reproduce synthetically that are put in the food to trick us that we're actually getting the nutrients and we if we're not getting the nutrients remember we stated that you will keep on eating because your body is deficient in it. So it thinks it's getting it, it thinks it's getting it, so you keep eating. Yeah, the hormones that signal uh, to stop eating get, get all astray yeah. because if you're not getting the nutrition, the body is still going to seek it. So I find that very interesting that they removed some micronutrients and they added others, why that some went out and some didn't. But again, if you eat foods that don't have labels, you're more likely to get those nutrients. Yeah. And, those, and then again, the actual quantity of them. Uh, getting absolute amounts of the micronutrients is huge. Not everyone eats the 2,000 calorie a day diet. Mm -hmm. um, and this reduces the utility of the percentage of daily value. You know, if you're smaller like me and you're not eating that amount or you're eating more, that, that kind of sends those numbers askew, don't you? Yeah, agree? I think so too. Uh, the daily values are updated. The daily values for fiber, sodium, vitamin D have been updated to reflect new scientific consensus. Whereas four grams of fiber used to comprise 16% of your DV, your daily value, value. Mm -hmm. uh, it's now 14%. Sodium uh, daily value was previously based on 2,400 milligrams daily amount. Now it's 2,300. Uh, I mean, to uh, me, that's all kind <coughs> of, it's kind you of know, crazy. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, 
the scientific consensus can be kind of iffy. And again, yeah. I think the key thing is you want to look for, the, I think the most powerful thing that they're doing, regardless of these, is, is letting you see where the hidden sugars are. This is significant kind of like a couple of years ago when they required trans fat labeling. And just, you know, it wasn't just fat, but there had to be a subcategory yeah. in the fats. But remember that trans fat number is still misleading folks, because they are allowed to put zero for trans fats, even if there's up to 0.5, or yeah. maybe even up to 0.1, it might be. In other words, as long as it's not one, <clears throat> yeah, it's then, less than one. Then, then they can say zero. So yeah. that's a little bit m misleading there. The other thing, uh, increased prominence of calories and servings per container. Uh, servings per container is uh, always confusing people. I think a lot of people don't even read that part. And they it's think, important because they think the, the container may be a serving. You know? Right. The many times a serving is three or four servings, and the calorie the calories reflected are per serving. So yeah. you got to be careful that you could overeat N easily. Uh, calories from fat removed. The new label no longer lists the amount of calories derived from fat. Yes, since fat is more calorically dense than other macronutrients, most people consume calories are the most important aspect of food's healthfulness, which is not true. Using calories to represent fat's contribution uh, paints fat as the bad guy. Eliminating the calories from fat encourages consumers to evaluate the food on its merits. Yeah, I don't even consider calorie counting something right. that's viable to weight loss itself. It may be a, a track to run on uh, if you're very satisfied with what you're eating and you're eating a good, uh, you know, uh, good meals during the day, and you add up those calories and you say, well, I'm eating 3,000, and the next day you do the same thing, you're eating 3,000. That may be the value for you. Uh, it may not be for somebody else, however. Yeah. You, so you, yeah. you know what, what we can <clears throat> offer here before we close is what are some things we would add if we could, and this is from Mark's Daily Apple. <clears throat> you know, let's talk about if we had our wish list of what we could see on the labels and mm -hmm. How about aura? ORAC is an antioxidants free radical scavenging ability. It stands for oxygen <coughs> radical absorbance capacity. We need antioxidant. It'd be nice to know if that food offered us antioxidant protection. Uh, yeah, they need to be clear on things. Uh, it's. I think it's very confusing when they list, you know, the, the vitamins, the vitamin B, yeah, B12, the, and all these the things. The individual percentage, <coughs> like that 23 to 2400, doesn't matter. Let's talk about the ability of that food to help us fight inflammation. And remember that uh, what you mentioned before, too, very, very important is that if you're reading a label and it has these things on it, it's probably not a whole food. Exactly. And that's where we want to know where are these micronutrients that they're adding. Maybe we define more clearly some of the more important micronutrients. And we have added clarity on this label. For example, a lot of these added fats like omegas and vitamin A or vitamin D are actually synthetic forms and may not be that great for us. It'd be nice yeah. to know, is it synthetic or is it <clears throat> naturally derived? Many supplement companies do that, by the way. Yeah, so I think uh, what you need to look at, folks, is when there's a label on it that's describing what you have, maybe you're picking the wrong food. If you go to the butcher shop and get your meat or from a farmer, or if you're going to the uh, the uh, your local food uh, co-op or uh, maybe a farmer's market, mm -hmm. you're going to find the packages of vegetables You're going to find there. your labels not, on there. Exactly, and that's the place you really want to be. So look in your cart, and if uh, you've got more than uh, three quarters of your stuff coming from labels, you probably need to change your diet. And that's true, and uh, I saw that one of the great ways to represent sugar is to list it in teaspoons. Just like we know you eat a piece of bread, it's equivalent to eight teaspoons of sugar. That might have more of a visual impact for us instead of grams. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. This has the equivalent of X amount of teaspoons. So those are some tips to help you with uh, the new nutritional labels. We've got to take a break. We'll see you right when we get back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back to the show, folks. Nico and Paige here. Uh, you know, we're talking about uh, lots of different things, but there are new technologies in science that uh, are going to shape uh, our lives in years to come and I want to talk about these a little bit yeah uh, this was in the Huffington Post <clears throat> and what really intrigued me this was shared uh, to, to me by our chief science officer over at Healthy Fit Club Robbie mm -hmm. Bessner and it's amazing that that many of the things may seem like science fiction <laughs> but um, it's actually coming to fruition now and it's really going to help us lead healthier lives yeah, there's the first one mentioned here is called organic electronics. While some branches of science focus on making machines act more like living creatures, organic electronics focuses on making organic elements behave more like machines. Using this new technology, scientists are working out ways to control the neurotransmitters in our cells in much the same way we can control our electronic devices. Technology is already revolutionizing the way we design and integrate uh, prosthetics and other medical devices. So certainly lots of uh, good news in that area. And, and nutrigenomics, which is the, the effect of nutrition on the genes. You've heard that you are what you eat and that, uh, you know, but the emerging science of nutrigenomics is taking that saying to extremes. Basically, nutrigenomics uh, studies the way that food affects the genes and it's good and it can be good and it can be bad if you're eating the wrong kind of food. Mm -hmm. As they learn, uh, they're looking for great ways that the diet can complement yeah. or even alter our genes and in the near future it's not a question that food will be viewed and valued for the positive effects it can have yeah. in ideal gene expression. Yeah. Uh, another one is synthetic biology. Synthetic biology is the science of creating biological organisms through to the technical means. Already they've created a, a computer model of a bacteria and manufactured a synthetic cell. That's hard to believe. Yeah, the possibilities for applying synthetic biology are tantalizing, uh, designed and creating brand new microorganisms from scratch. Uh, you know, I'm 
on the fence yes. about this one. Yeah. You know? But uh, I uh, do believe every you know the scientists do have great intentions in this. Uh, but uh, when they start messing with my biology, then I may be barking a little bit louder. What do you think? Oh, I, I I'm concerned about the fact that some of that could be happening. You know, when we say there's a movie out, what in the world are they spraying? Mm -hmm. And we know a lot of the the sprays are perhaps for weather modification and control. But you often wonder just how that's impacting our cells and how yeah. it might be impacting some of our own hormones and transmitters. Maybe you can scroll up. I don't know if that can scroll or not. But the number four is very interesting that this was in the Huffington Post. And the number four is redux signaling technology. And this is a product that has the patent for stabilizing the redux molecule, which is the way that we balance reduction and oxidation in our body. This is a brand. Uh, I use this with my clients. ASEA is a fantastic product that reactivates the antioxidants in our body. Uh, ath athletes are using it. It's been around for eons, but it isn't until recently that we've been able to learn how important they are and then uh, Dr. Samuelson was able to actually stabilize this molecule. So we think that these this new cellular healing technology is going to radically change the way we stay healthy. Yeah, and the last one, number five, is uh, neuromorph neuromorphic engineering. engineering. Mm -hmm. And that really had its roots in 1980. It's becoming pretty impressive, they say. Basically, it's uh, creating computer systems that act like living organisms. And again, we're kind of putting robots in us. Yeah, some of that's really crazy, but what I was really pleased to see was the advanced cellular technology of ASEA. And uh, because I think that we're going to, this is something that I can, ad some of these other things sound kind of crazy and mm -hmm. out there. But, mm -hmm. you know, technology is changing and it yeah. will have beneficial well, effects. Well, it's all from a point of view. I was listening to a podcast uh, actually from the University of Southern California, San Diego, and it was a panel, and they were discussing is meat good or bad. Pretty mm -hmm. interesting discussion, but uh, you know everybody had their own agenda. We had one guy at the on the left end of the panel that was really talking about what is sustainable as, from a scientific point of view, and of course they're talking about GMOs and this is what we have to have and we have to grow more and more of this plant food, uh, mostly grains and things like that because otherwise which is not what they're supposed to eat. Well, definitely not. But the, this is the future. He says this is the only way. And of course, uh, completely against meat. There was a whole panel there. A lot of them vegan or vegetarian. There was a guy there from uh, thinking more along the lines I was but nobody really got their whole piece in and it was interesting because the nutritionist that was there mm -hmm. and I forget her name but uh, she was uh, right on point of talking about all the different things that our natural food has in it and of course the, the animal concentrators the, yeah the animal concentrators and of course uh, we got around to the uh, vegan who was completely vegan she was just a cook and basically she how to make uh, vegetarian meals fun and stuff like that really dynamic person but she says you know we can get everything we need from plants and the nutritionist says well wait a minute you know you're talking about the omega-3s from flax seeds and all these things and it's not in the same form that we digest uh, and she says and but you know people say well that's a minor point you know and just sloughing off and same with the K2 she was mentioning you know but that was kind of sloughed off well that's a scientific nutritional point of view yes we can get everything from plants there's no doubt about it but then we had the farmer next to her saying and the well, B12 yeah and the B12s too yeah uh, and uh, they had the person next to her saying well wait a minute there, there are ways of sustaining things and the guy who was really from our camp was saying what we need more of is the old grasslands instead of having the wheat and the corn growing through our middle states, we need these animals. And the Grazing on the grass and yeah. the chickens following and yeah. pecking and he through. Said, the we need to make the world more wild. And the other guy, of course, who was uh, from the manufacturer, says, well, there's no way we can do that again. But I think there is a ways we can do that again. I think there's lots of ways we can do it because we do know, Paige, that the wild things are more nutrition, whether it's animal or plant, doesn't really make much difference. We need to go where the wild things are. Yeah. Do you so remember that book? No. Where the wild things are? No, I don't. What but I like it? the title. Yeah. It was a ba well, you should get it for your grandbabies. There you go. Yeah, I know, because it's, yeah. uh, it's about going where the wild things yeah. are. Yeah, so I think getting back to uh, the natural way, and I think really, truly, in our modern society, the only way we can get back control of our lives is through the food, because I think food is a community-based thing. And we've taken it away, and we put in an. It's commercialized. Yeah, it. we commercialized it. So now our food is coming from everywhere. It's not coming from our local. But imagine if everybody in your neighborhoods, you take 50 houses, and everybody was growing something, or some people were hunting, perhaps. And then you get a 
community cooking going on. Not only do you have the community of eating, but now you have the community of conversation, a community of what everybody has in common or different with each other. Generational integration. And much better way to protect ourselves when something bad happens because now we're a community that we can count on. It's very difficult. You know, we went away for 10 days and uh, I have good neighbors. They're watching the house for me and stuff like that and uh, maybe people sitting in the house for a period of time, that type of thing. But if you have a whole community that's like that, that knows you're leaving and knows what you're about, then the safety factor comes in. So when we're talking about these mass killings and everything like that, I still go back to that the solution can be started at the food where we start growing locally. We do away with all these trucks on the highway. We do away with our big manufacturers and we start gain control of our lives again. And you know, when we think about that, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about the next article is the attitudes of aging and living life too fast. And what we think about, we bring about. So mm -hmm. exactly, maybe we all need to think about and bring about, bring about a return to a more living a primal lifestyle, getting rid of the trucks. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and getting back and, and getting re-in-touch with nature, getting re-in-touch with our family and our friends and instead of having text neck and, you know, looking at them on a screen, let's go out and sit around a campfire. Connect and, with people, not your devices. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we'll take a short break here. Yeah, please pick up our Primal Edge, pick up our brand new newsletter coming out on Tuesday. The old ones are still hanging around there and uh, got Good plenty stuff. to read. So we'll stick around, folks. We'll be right back. I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. No matter where you're listening to TFNN programming, you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern, and you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones, iPads, and Android devices, located in the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV, but if you don't have a connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit tfnn.mobi in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and call-in talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Join Join John Logan as he teaches you trading techniques utilizing the TAS Profile Scanner, the Global Market Pulse, next on TFNN. 
Welcome back. Did you know that research is quite clear and intriguing? Uh, that a positive attitude about your age can help you to stay happy and healthy well into your golden years, Nico. Yeah, the way you view old age may have a real effect on your physical health. In a study by researchers at the University of Exeter, 29 people between the ages of 66 and 98 were asked about their experience of aging and frailty, as well as their beliefs about the attitudes important in health. While most of the people believed they were in good physical shape, even those who weren't, two people identified them as old and frail. This the negative outlook led to a cycle of decline, including stopping in participation of social activities and exercise. I get very worried about that cocooning <clears throat> I see in older people when they stop getting out and about and feel like they... You can almost see the cobwebs starting to form. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it is true. What you think about, you bring about. And every, I always tell people, be careful what you think because every one of your trillions of cells are listening and they're ready to activate on what you think about. So yeah. I think we, we need to toss out this nonsense uh, that you know old is something that and disease is something we should expect not so at all we are designed to live and thrive and be healthy yeah. well into our years yep. and I think if we really embrace that we can achieve it and yep. feel it for My ourselves. My dad had a, a wonderful saying he had many wonderful sayings but one I clearly remember is how lucky can I be or how lucky can I get and he used this phrase right. My dad uh, got cancer at the age of 72 and died when he was 74 mm -hmm. years old, and he knew he was dying. And so he set my mother up in a nice condo, moved her close to where my sister lived in Tallahassee, and really set her up for life uh, the right way, making sure that she was going to be taken care of. About uh, two months before he passed away, which was around Christmas time, we had a family gather and a bunch of uh, uncles and everything. We all gathered around the table. My dad made this 15-minute speech called, How Lucky Can I Be? I really I interesting uh, because he started out saying that uh, he was 18, 19 years old. And he met this gorgeous girl. They were both in this bicycle club. She was from De Hague. He was from Amsterdam. And he told himself, you know, could I be this lucky that this girl would actually date me and then marry me? And then finally, when he asked her and things, of course, he said, boy, I'm so lucky. Then she, uh, after a couple of miscarriages, my mother uh, gave birth to my sister. And he was so happy because what he wanted was a girl. And uh, I was born in 1944 during the hung hunger winter in Holland. And uh, he got a call. He was in the underground at that time, so he was out hiding. And he got a message that uh, the, his son was being born. He didn't know it was a son at the same time. He rushed to the hospital, and the uh, nurse was there. And uh, she says, oh, I heard I had a baby. And she says, yes, what, uh, what would you like? He says, oh, as long as it's healthy. He says, but what would you secretly want? He says, well, if I'm the luckiest guy in the world, I have a son because I have a daughter. <laughs> and she says, you are that lucky. Aww. So he went through this whole story of how he came to Canada, uh, and sponsored our whole family and finally felt how lucky he felt that he had a good job working in the mines real hard working so he could buy a house and having his uh, you know all our uh, aunts and uncles coming over being sponsored and uh, us learning English and then finally coming to the United States when uh, bad times were in Canada in the early 60s and me going to university and my sister going to university and uh, at the end of this whole speech he said you know I I feel today I'm the luckiest man in the world because most people people don't have a chance to know when they're going to leave this life. Mm -hmm. He says, I happen to be that lucky person that knows, and I can stay here and spend some time with you one-on-one -on -one and tell you how grateful I am to have you in my life. And that was my dad. That's a and that's how story. I got my really good positive attitude about life. And you do. Yeah. And that's and a, a beautiful story. Thing. So this really hits home with me that, you know, you can change the way you think by ad adding that positively beautiful thing that you have, your mind going in the right direction, being positive and, and good about life. Someone really wise said to me, every day just wake up and say thank you. Yeah. How lucky can you be? Thank you. And that's where prayer really comes from. Right? That's right. Yeah. And so we're thankful for you. Thanks have for a sticking great around, day. folks. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. 
While originally hand drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. You're watching Tiger TV.